Hi, I'm Ramina Van Dyken, MD. I'm a surgeon by trade, but my true passion is helping people just like you obtain optimum health by adopting a whole foods plant-based lifestyle. Today, I wanna to talk about coconut oil. Ooh, coconut oil. More specifically, I wanna to talk to you about the American Heart Association's presidential advisory statement on coconut oil and cardiovascular disease. It was actually on saturated fat and cardiovascular disease, but we wanna talk about today why coconut oil is so bad. First off, let's back up a little bit to discuss cardiovascular disease. It's the leading global cause of death. It kills 17.3 million people every year, and we know that preventing heart disease saves countless lives. One of the best ways to prevent cardiovascular disease is to replace dietary saturated fats with polyunsaturated fats. This reduces cardiovascular disease by about 30%. That's about the same effect you'd get if you took a statin medication or a cholesterol pill. The new American Heart Association statement recommends cutting out dietary saturated fats and combining this with a healthy diet for optimum cardiovascular disease prevention. Most saturated fats come from meat and dairy products or animal products. Cheese is one of the biggest culprits. So what does all that have to do with coconut oil? Why is coconut oil getting a good or a bad rap? Well, coconut oil is 82% saturated fat. A recent survey reported that 72% of the American public rated coconut oil as a healthy food compared with about 30% of nutritionists. But coconut oil is anything but healthy. Where did this misconception come from and why is coconut oil being touted as one of the best health foods on the planet? Honestly, the public has it all wrong and they've gone haywire promoting it. Tablespoons of coconut oil in smoothies, bullet coffee, which is adding fats like butter and coconut oil to coffee, it's so messed up and so unhealthy. If you just must have coconut oil and you love coconut oil so much, put it on your skin, on your body instead of in your body. Well, here's why some people have touted coconut oil as being healthy. It's made up of 82% saturated fat, like I said earlier. About half of that is lauric acid, and the rest myristic, palmitic, stearic, and short-chain fatty acids. Lauric acid increases your LDL, or the bad cholesterol. It also increases HDL, which we know of as the good cholesterol. The thing is, when compared to other types of saturated fats, like animal fats, lauric acid increases LDL by about half as much. It's also been shown to increase HDL more than the other types of saturated fats. So its net effect is a slight reduction in the LDL to HDL ratio, which means it has a healthier profile. But it still raises LDL, which has been linked to the development of cardiovascular disease. And recent studies have shown that changes in HDL, the good cholesterol, whether it's by diet or other drugs, can no longer be directly related to changes or risk of heart disease. It may not be as important to have a high HDL as we once thought it was. High LDL, on the other hand, is a known cause of cardiovascular disease. There's a strong link there. And coconut oil has been known to increase your LDL. It doesn't raise your LDL as much as butter or other saturated fats, but it still raises your LDL and puts you at risk. Also, when compared to other vegetable fats like olive oil, it raises your LDL more, translating into an unhealthier fat. So the bottom line, stay away from coconut oil. Better yet, try to stay away from all added oils. For goodness sake, don't add that coconut oil to your smoothies and your coffees. And of course, remember, animal fats such as butter and cheese increase your risk of cardiovascular disease the most and should be avoided at all costs. Get your healthy dietary fats from plants like avocados and nuts. For more awesome reading on this, refer to the American Heart Association's Presidential Advisory on Dietary Fats and Cardiovascular Disease. It was released just this week. The link's in the description below. Well guys, that concludes all of the super useful information I have for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something valuable and applicable to your individual health journey. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you want to show us some real support, hit that subscribe button. We also love hearing from you, so please comment down below. Let us know your thoughts on this video and other topics you want us to do a video on. We'll be happy to do so. Thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, aloha.